Hi, welcome back. And in the last tutorial, I showed you how to create this little application, which doesn't actually do anything. And in this tutorial, I'm going to fix it so that when you click the button, it adds stuff to the text area here. So um, I'm going to navigate here to my main frame. And what I want to do, what I'm going to do is um, a kind of common pattern for swing apps in general. I'm going to listen to one component and when something happens in that component, I'm going to do something to another component. So I'm going to listen to the button and when the button's clicked, I'm going to add some text into the text area. Now the way to do that is, um, firstly, I want to add a thing called an action listener to the button. So to do that, um, my button's called btn and it's this private variable here. And I'm going to say btn dot add action listener. Now action, the add action listener method takes as its argument a um, an action listener, a thing of type action listener. An action listener is actually an interface. So what I could do, and perhaps will do um, in future tutorials at some point, is I could make mainframe implement the action listener interface and then pass this into this method. But um, what I'm going to do instead here is use an anonymous class. I'm going to say new here inside the argument brackets, new action listener, and then round brackets. So this bit looks exactly as though I was creating an object of type action listener, which of course isn't legal by itself because action listener is not a class, it's an interface. But what I can do is I can open a bracket here and Eclipse puts in the closing bracket automatically. And if I click on this error here, I can go to, well, I need to import action listener um, first and then click on, again, click on it again. And I can go to add unimplemented methods. And the action listener interface just has this one method action performed. And this method is run whenever the button is clicked. So let's get rid of some of these extra lines here. I'm just doing control D to delete them. And in here, what I want to do is append some text, text to the text area. And to do that, I'm going to say text area dot append. And that accepts a string and I'll pass the string hello. And I'll put uh, also backslash n there to add a new line at the end of each string, the end of each hello. So um, I'm listening to the button um, by setting an action listener on it, which is this anonymous class. And within the method, the action perform method of the anonymous class, I'm directly invoking a method of the text area. Uh, and as I say, this is quite a common pattern in Swing or in GUI applications in general, I suppose. So if I run that now, um, I need to select the main program here and run that. Now, if I click the button, you can see it adds hello to the text area. Okay, so that's it for this tutorial. And in, in the next part of this tutorial series, I'm going to show you how to begin to break up a Swing application into separate classes, separate custom components. And we're going to add a toolbar to this. And we're going to add some scroll bars to the text pane. And we're going to have the toolbar and the text area as two separate kind of custom components. So until next time, happy coding.